Hello, my name is Chris Cheney, and uh, if you've watched the channel before, I started doing a lot of videos about uh, Uber and Lyft, but I moved on, and uh, one of the things I do mostly is I buy and sell items <clears throat> on uh, for eBay, and a lot of times when you purchase an item, um, you know, you're buying returns, you know, if you can. If you can get Amazon returns, those can be really good. People return items for many different reasons. But uh, this video can be helpful for the resellers out there. But particularly, <clears throat> uh, this video is for one reason. If your seatbelt is locked, perhaps you purchased a new one. Um, brand new from the factory and you get home and you can't pull the seatbelt out <clears throat> um, I've watched a few videos on this and um, I, let me just say that uh, this was a return from Amazon and as you can see it's very shiny there's no marks on it. This this is a brand new item. There's n nothing dirty about it. Uh, it comes complete with the other side. Um, so I think what this is is um, a brand new seat belt for um, like go karts or golf carts. Um, you may be able to put it in a car. I've got more research to do to determine that. But um, I know for sure this would be acceptable in the uh, in a go kart or a golf cart. Um, there's some information. Um, <clears throat> but let me just get to the point here. So um, apparently it's a problem because when I started looking it up, uh, one of the manufacturers even has a video that says hey if you bought a ride and, and you can't pull the seat bed out it because it's locked it's not because it's not it's damaged so please uh pay attention and i'll just go ahead and tell you the number one way that they tell you to do it is to go ahead and install it and i know that sounds like who would go through that without making sure it was okay first but that's what they say install it and if you didn't want to install it it just says you know bolt it to a firm piece of wood you know so that it's 90 degrees so that told me there must be some kind of weighted mechanism in it and I thought what the hell with that why am I gonna waste my time installing it I'll just you know hold it firmly you know <laughs> by this end down here like this and then pull in a vertical position as if it's installed and I did that and it did not work so what I've done is I've destroyed one so that <laughs> we could see behind the scenes and this is what you this is what's behind there and there's that weighted mechanism so this is God, this is so simple. I really spent too much time talking. Just when you see this, you're, oh my God. So when I lift it up like this, when that ball is fully resting there, uh, sometimes you have to shake it a bit. All right. You know what? We're going to have to set this up somehow. So, I kept, you know, doing this before. Because there was no illustration of what was behind the scenes. I didn't know there was a, a ball in there. Um, so, I, I kept, you know, just pulling on it. And they said, you know, if you just pull really hard, you know, I couldn't get it to work. So now let me show you what it looks like when you can see behind the scenes. Uh, when that ball falls, this falls away 
and it will roll freely. Now it'll come out. Now even tilt it a little bit and it already gets starting to catch. See that? Now it's back into place. Just that easy. Unlocked. Locked. You can pull on it as hard as you want it's not coming out. That little tiny little pissy little piece of plastic. See that? Locked. Unlocked. Locked. Unlocked. So, <clears throat> this one is locked right now. See that? Let me tilt it just right and just shake it. Look at there. Comes out pretty as can be. Do like this. It's locked again. Shake it. And there you go. So you can see if this was installed completely vertical, you know, on a piece of wood, if it was installed completely vertical, you would get the same effect. So I've destroyed one of the items that I was going to sell, but now uh, others can see. See. All right. So that's it. I think I've explained it well enough. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.